it seems like regulation is inevitable. We're just not clear what, what kind. What do you think? Facebook's having a terrible week and it's only Tuesday. And I think that the legislation is one of the most frustrating pieces for privacy advocates, for cybersecurity advocates, and now for the public. We should feel so grateful for this whistleblower coming forward. This is one of the most in-depth hearings we've had on social media to date. And also some of the most educated and insightful questions we've gotten from the senators too. The frustrating piece about the legislation is we see dozens of bills proposed by states about censorship issues and trying to shine a spotlight on the transparency concerns they have with Facebook and its Instagram and WhatsApp holdings. But there's also questions about Section 230 and how privacy should be regulated on social media in general. And unfortunately, these questions have lingered for years, just like the antitrust cases continue to linger for years. Lisa, real quickly, I mean, if a if CEO misrepresented or didn't make good on a promise uh, that he would address issues like this that came up in prior testimony on the Hill, did he perjure himself? <laughs> He could certainly answer to charges of perjury, and that's part of why the whistleblower has gone to the SEC. She filed approximately eight complaints, and there's certainly issues of whether he's been truthful, whether the company has misrepresented itself in terms of how it affects children, sex trafficking, political endeavors online on its platform. And really what it comes down to is there's inherently a problem with how it operates. The government needs to step in. We have to have private entities also step in to protect the public. All right. We'll watch what happens, Lisa Garber. I want to thank you for that.